baby, we are back. <laughs> hey, oh, I'm so hype. Welcome back to An Artist Travels. My name is Nikki and today I'm going to show you how I built a vocal booth in my house. How freaking cool is that? Um, so if you're a voice actor looking to build your own vocal booth, if you're just interested in the life of an actress, honey I got you. I got, I'm so hyped today. I'm so excited. But anyway, yes, I got you. Let me go show you. So first of all, you're going to have to come along with me. So, I'm going to take you along to the spare room. Hello, so this is the spare room. And this is where I've built the vocal booth. Pop the light on, here we go. So, when I was doing a lot of research into how to build a vocal booth, and I'm going to explain why and how I got into voice acting. Uh, it's quite a new thing for me, which is really exciting. So I was doing a lot of research on YouTube. I was watching all these people like DIY vocal booths because if you don't know, when you go to buy a vocal booth, they cost like two grand, three grand, four grand, five grand. They are expensive, but you can also build cheap ones in your own house. And I was like, I'll do that. So I was looking at people just to see how they had built their own. And one thing I always, always heard from people, and bearing in mind a lot of these YouTubers were American YouTubers, they were like, just use your closet guys, just use your closet. And I was like, that is such an American specific thing because here in England where I live, I live in London, um, it's not very common to have a closet. So I had a bit of a debate as to whether I was going to build one in my bedroom or whether I was going to build one in the spare room. No one likes staying in the spare room. I was tempted to use my bedroom and I felt God told me to use the spare room. And I was like, but mm, my bedroom. And God was like, use the spare room. Didn't tell me why. I'm so glad I did because there were a lot of works going on outside. You can hear it so loud from my room, but not from here. God knows. When God tells you to do something, guys, just do it. So here's the alcove. Here's a curtain that I love. And it cuts, not cuts off, but it, you know, covers this alcove. And when you slide it back, -da, welcome to the voice booth, the vocal booth, guys. Thumbnail. <laughs> so here we go. Here's the vocal booth. There's a lot of space in here. Um, there's definitely enough space for me to do everything that I want to do here. So this desk used to be in my bedroom and this chair and I moved them here. Um, so I currently don't have a desk in my room but it's fine. I'll either work here or I've got the living room. And this side is a window and I'll show you what I do with it shortly. Um, but yeah, have a good view. I'll move back a little bit. Ah. In a minute I'm going to talk you through my setup um, so you know how everything's working. But I thought I'd just tell you real quick why I built this whole thing, like just give you a bit of context. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that I'm an actress and a teacher and a writer. And um, my background is actually in theatre, uh, but I also do screen acting. So, you know, TV, film, all of that jazz. Now, 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 now. I've never truly done voice acting specifically, but I had done acting jobs where I was required to use my voice. That sounds so like every, not every actor, but a lot of acting jobs you're required to use a voice. Basically, I'd done things like, um, like radio plays. I'd worked a part-time job where I had to use my voice to convey different characters and I really loved doing that. But I never really thought about voice acting as a job until last year, I would say leading up to December 2019, the idea of it was so enduring for me, so alluring. And God said to me just before Christmas, 2020 is the year I want you to work from home as a voice actress. I want you to be at home sending off auditions. I want you to be at home working, getting paid, getting your money as a voice actress from home. It was very specific. And I was like, why does God want me to be working from home as a voice actress in 2020? Like, God was like, I want you to act with your voice from home. And I was like, what, what, what? And then 2020 came, y'all know, pandemic hit. And I was like, God, you are good. Now, obviously I had no idea the pandemic was gonna hit. Who knew? I mean, who could have predicted this, right? God knew and God was like, I want you to prepare ahead of time. And I just didn't get why. It's very like Noah and the Ark. Like, he did, like I just delayed, you know, I was like, life is busy. We'll get to building the booth. And God was so strongly like, booth, 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 build it. Um, and you know, 
pandemic, right? So I'm really glad that I did build this and eventually listen. So let me just show you about how it all works. So here are the foam panels. I got these panels from Amazon. Pretty much everything I purchased for this booth, I think most of the things I got from Amazon. You'll notice how I've stuck them on. I kind of made a mistake at the beginning. You'll notice one is vertical, horizontal. Um, see, this is where I made the mistake. There's two horizontals, but mostly it's like this, this. And this, this just helps again like with the sound, there's a difference between soundproofing and sound absorption and um, and sound treatment. So definitely look into those if you don't know what I'm talking about because they're different and they're helpful to know when building your vocal booth. Um, how I stuck these on, I did not stick them directly to the wall. If I bring you here actually, I'll show you the secret. I glued them to cardboard and then the cardboard I put onto the wall just so that I don't damage the walls. And also because of the material, this material will not stick to a wall anyway. So protect your walls and, you know, let it stick to your wall. This is my microphone. It's a very beautiful microphone. I'll try and link it down below. I'm not sure if Amazon are still selling them. It was pretty pricey, I'm not gonna lie, but I decided to make an investment. This is your pop shield. It will shield some of the noise, which sounds weird because you're like, don't you want it to hit the noise? Um, don't you want the microphone to pick up the noise? But actually, it'll pick up something called plosives. It will stop plosives. And plosives are when, for example, you make the letter P, 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 p. It can be very, very harsh on the microphone. And so this pop shelter, pop shelter, filter, um, will help sort of like filter out that plosive sound. So yeah, if anyone's like interested in the make, you can probably see it there. Can you see it? Oh, zoomed it too much. Um, MXL V67, and yes, I will try and link that down below. So this microphone, if you follow the lead all the way down, it will plug into this. This is the sound box. It's on at the moment because I set this whole thing up before I started recording. And then there's another, <laughs> there's another cable that will then connect it with to the USB to my laptop, which is not plugged in at the moment because I'm using um, this memory disk thing, but. Usually it is, and that's how the microphone feeds into the laptop. <laughs> Under here I've got a few spare foam panels, because surprisingly I managed to, like the whole wall was covered. I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough. So what I might do when I actually get around to it is put like two of these on the ceiling, and then maybe like, maybe I'll do a few here. Um, but yeah, these panels make such a big difference with the sound. Let me just show you something. So I'm over here in the room, let me say something. Hello, welcome back to An Artist Travels, my name is Nikki. First is here. Hello and welcome back to An Artist Travels, my name is Nikki. I can hear, can you hear the richness, like the beauty of the sound in this space? So different from over here and I could hear that difference, I think when I'd only put up one wall. So phone panels, they're not super, super expensive. Uh, depends on how many you wanna get. Again, I'll try and link some down below. The final thing to show you over here is this. This thing over here, this is a moving blanket and I'm just gonna show you what I do with it. Okay, so you'll notice it's darker in here and that's because I have stuck up the moving blankets. Now, the idea of this, again, is to absorb some of the sound that would be coming in from the window and usually I would close this curtain, I'd be totally encased and I would even throw up a nice, th oh you really can't see me now, <laughs> I'd throw up a nice thick blanket over where the curtain is anyway because the curtain is really just like aesthetics but the um, thick blanket as well um, helps when I put it on the curtain rail. Again, with the sound, um, typically when you're filming you don't want hard surfaces because that's where the sound is going to bounce off and it's going to become like quite echoey and like you don't want really big spaces so it's nice to have this enclosed space. Um, obviously not everybody has a spare room, this is not to live your life exactly like me, it's just to give you different ideas. I watched so many videos and then figured out something that would work for me. I don't know how much of a difference this moving curtain makes but I bought it and like to put it up sometimes. I might take that off now so that we have light. Let there be light. And there you have it, that's my vocal booth. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I make a lot more content for young creatives, actors, writers, you know, I'm just all about 
creating. I love creating. I love it. I love it. Uh, I just think it's like the most divine. I mean, maybe I'm, I'm definitely biased because I love creation, creating, but I do think creation is such a divine act. I always think of God as the ultimate creator. And then so when I create, it's like being in harmony with God. It's really, really cool. Comment below, let me know if you're also a voice actor, if you'd consider voice acting, if you've got any questions about voice acting and I'll try and do my best to answer them. I'm relatively new to the business, but I'm loving it so far. So yeah, and I will see you next time for more fun videos for young creatives. See you guys later, bye.